Hi everyone, Carol here from Cool Wool Designs and I'm doing a Sunday school for the first Sunday of the year that I'm working and um, I might try and do one of these each week. And in front of me I've got some Onchalac work. Um, if you may have well have seen this before, this is one of my um, cow shaped cowls that I have worked in this Onchalac technique using a colour changing yarn. I've also got another little bit of Entrelac here that I did for a sh as a sample on a show on Yarn Lane TV. Now, I'm not actually here today to teach you how to do Entrelac. What I am here to show you, though, is how you can, if you've got to do small bits of knitting like this, which is exactly what you have to do for Entrelac again and again, if you've got to do small bits of knitting, you can speed up the process considerably by learning uh, the muscle memory to enable yourself to knit backwards. I know that sounds a bit bizarre, but let's have a look at what we what we mean by that. What we actually mean is normally you knit across like I have done in this last row. You would then turn and you would purl across on the wrong side. So instead of having to turn and purl, you can actually keep your work facing you and knit backwards. Okay, now it might sound a bit odd, but it once you've trained your brain into how to do it, it's just amazing and it will speed things up no end. So let me show you first how to teach yourself how to do it and then I'll show you it in action. So first of all, turn to the wrong side as if you were going to purl. And let's just zoom in a little bit as well. Okay, so normally if you were purling, you'd hold your yarn, whichever way you hold it, right or left hand, and you would put your needle through your first stitch like that, just like that. So what I would do is do that, hold on to it, turn it round and have a look from the right side at what you've done. You've actually put that into that stitch that way. Okay, so just have a go at that a little bit. So that's how you've got to put your yarn into your stitch turn back and now let's have a look at what we do next so normally we would do yarn round from like that way uh, that's anti-clockwise and pull the stitch through so let's just go back to the front again and see what we've done there we have taken the yarn round that way round that back needle Okay, so again, a little few times to get used to that. And then you've got to pull that stitch through. So there we are, done that, pop it off the needle. Let's try it from the front and see if I can do it straight away uh, without turning. Although you may well have to try it a few times yourself. So into the back of that stitch like that, round that needle like that, through to the front and off into the next stitch round through to the front and off i've had a bit of practice at this and have got quicker each time so just give yourself time to learn the movements that you've got to do there's a few benefits of doing this not only is it quicker but it also helps you keep an, a better tension on your work because you don't have to drop your yarn between right side and wrong side rows. I'll show you that now. So we're on the last stitch, purl or knit backwards, yarn round and over. I've still got hold of my yarn here. I've still got my stitches here. And now I just start the next stitch row exactly as I would normally do. So I think this is great. Not only for when you've got to do short sections you may decide that you like the idea so much especially if you don't like purling much that you want to do it all the time so here we go let's have another go into the back of that stitch round through to the front and off the first stitch is always the hardest and then you get a bit of a flow going and some tension from the previous stitches you've worked I know some people who've bought my uh, cowl pattern have said that this was transformational for them. They'd always been put off working on shellac because of the thought of having to keep turning around 
to do the wrong size side every few stitches, but uh, this helps tremendously. So there we go. I will knit back and show you one more thing that I came to, I taught myself to do as well as I was working this because I found it slightly easier. And that is still doing the same thing. So still going into that first stitch as normal, but the fact of wrapping it round that way can sometimes be a bit difficult. So I thought, well, what happens if I do it the other way? Because that's a lot easier. So let's do that. It's not a problem. It's much easier, I find, to actually wrap it that way round. And it's not a problem on your next row. All it means is that the knit stitches will be mounted um, in the wrong way. But we can easily solve that. We don't have to move all the stitches or anything. So here, instead of going round that way, I'm going round that way. And it just seems to be easier. Particularly, maybe it's just because if you're a right hand thrower like how I am, it might be easier. So now I've got to do my knit row and the stitches are facing the wrong way. Normally the stitch would look like this. Let me show you like that with the front right to the right, the front of the stitch to the right. But because we've purled sort of the wrong way, um, we've got the back to the right, but it's not a problem. You just, instead of knitting into this front loop, you knit into the back loop all the way along. So you can purl wrapping around the stitch either way, or sorry, knit backwards wrapping around the stitch either way. And then on your next row, you can easily correct it if you went round the opposite way to normal. There we go. So I hope that's been enjoyable for you. I think it's really neat and it's a great thing to do if you've got to work very short rows of stocking stitch. Thanks everyone.